Welcome to match week 26 of the Sky Bet Championship with an old Midlands rivalry between Nottingham Forest and Derby County. Forest need a win to keep track of leaders Birmingham, but a win for Derby sees them narrow the gap with Garibaldi to 6 points. It's a closed game from both teams, but clumsy defending leads to Wayne Rudy's 1-0 for the visitors. Lewis Graben is one goal away from double figures and gets it after 28 minutes. But the Rams have deadly counterattacks today. Chris Martin puts the 1-2 past Samba. And this time it's Darby's turn for lousy defending. Amiobi finds Graben. 11 goals for him now. Forrest are happy with a point. But Wayne Rooney launches a rocket onto the post and Tom Lawrence heads in the winning goal for the Rams to put them in the race for a playoff spot. Nottingham 2, Derby 3. Brentford host leaders Birmingham and go behind via Lukas Jutkiewicz after 28 minutes. Patrick Mbomal is just an inch away from a beautiful equalizer. But Jude Bellingham's cross ends up with Scott Hogan who makes it 2-0. Ollie Watkins pulls one back with his 11th goal of the season. But another cross from Bellingham leads to the 9th goal of Lukas Jutkiewicz. Birmingham are 6 points clear of Forrest and Leeds who give Stoke City an absolute trashing in their own house. Pablo Hernandez gets his 6th and 7th goal so far. And when Gianni Alioski finds Helder Costa, it's 3-0. Stoke are unlucky not to get a goal before the break. And after an hour, Stevens even makes it 4-0. And so, Leeds are back in second place. Diouf scores a consolation goal for Stoke. Dan Bentley stops Huddersfield from opening the score against Bristol City, while Famara Jeju heads in the 1-0 on the other side. Also a penalty kick is stopped by Bentley and even the crossbar keeps the Robins from conceding at the John Smith Stadium. Fulham host Wigan and get the best chances but fail to score. A win would put Wigan right next to Fulham in the table and with two minutes left Lee Evans scores. It gets even worse with a 2-0 from Jacobs and Wigan are now two points behind Leeds and Forrest. Preston get run over by Millwall who score twice via Jet Wallace to secure their seventh win and to climb to 30 points. Skipper Hutchinson makes it 3-0 and gives the Lions and their fans renewed hope. West Brom host Middlesbrough who are awarded a penalty but Lucas Mecha hits the post and Sheffield United loanee Callum Robinson misses Albion's best chance, 0-0. Hull City lost their two heavy hitters, Kamil Grozicki and Jared Bowen. But the Tigers still managed to open the score away at Cardiff City via McGuinness. But Cardiff City are super efficient today and turn it around in only four minutes time with an equalizer from Junior Hoylet and two goals from Callum Patterson to make it 3-1 at half time. Substitute Robert Glotzel gets away from his marker to put the 4-1 into the net and Herbie Kane's 4-2 doesn't make anyone happy anymore. A win for Cardiff and a 1-0 loss for rivals Swansea at Luton Town with a nice goal from Pelly, Ruddock and Penzu. Plenty of goals in Blackburn Rovers against Sheffield Wednesday with the first two coming from Sam Gallagher. Sheffield's defense is all over the place and up front they are very lucky to get a goal from Ate Nuhiu. They all count. Sam Gallagher completes his hat-trick before half time and the 4-1 is for Armstrong. Blackburn are out of the relegation zone with this win and see Joey Pelopesi head in the 4-2 but also youngster Rankin Costello gets his goal. Rovers 5, Owls 2. QPR however have dropped to a relegation spot and lost five players in January. 
Three low knees, plus Josh Scowen and Tony Leisner. At the valley they are eaten alive by Charlton, who gained four new low knees in January. Charlton opened the score via a strike from youngster Alfie Dowdy, before their main man Lyle Taylor puts the 2-0 through Kelly's legs. Newcomer Aiden McGeady is close to the 3-0, but Tomer Hemet doesn't miss. What a win for the home team, 3-0 for Charlton. And finally, Reading introduced two new players with Ayub Masica and Brazilian Felipe Araruna, who scores the 1-0, but Jordan Williams steals a point for Barnsley, 1-0. See you next week, peace.